Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Alana and I am currently 30 weeks pregnant with baby number two and he is due in May. And then I also have a two-year-old daughter named Sophia. So I just wanted to film a 30-week update about my pregnancy. I haven't done an update in quite some time. I believe the last one I did was at like 20 weeks-ish. So it's been quite a while. So I have a lot to catch you guys up on if you've been following along. And if you haven't, you got some stuff to learn. So I just had my appointment actually today. So I'm filming this so everything is nice and fresh for the update. So to start off, um, I'm gonna talk about my cravings. So now that I'm in the third trimester, I honestly don't really have any cravings whatsoever. So that's pretty exciting. As far as weight gain goes, I have gained a total of 12 pounds so far in my entire pregnancy and my doctor says I'm on track to gain about 8 to 10 more pounds by the end. So haven't gained too much, a lot less than I did with Sophia. With Sophia I gained a total of 38 pounds in my entire pregnancy and I'm definitely not gaining that much this time. I'm definitely taking better care of myself this time and making sure I'm eating healthier and not eating as much fast food or anything. When I was pregnant with Sophia, I worked at McDonald's, so I ate a lot at McDonald's, way more than I should have. So this time around, I'm definitely a lot healthier, which is good. As far as stretch marks go, I don't think that I've gotten any new stretch marks this pregnancy yet. I'm sure they're coming. I don't think I got stretch marks the first time around until I was about 30 weeks. So I'm sure they will come quite soon. I do have quite a few from my first pregnancy, so I really don't want any more, but it is what it is, I guess. I'll deal with it. And at my 30 week appointment that I just had, I learned that I'm a little bit on the low side for iron, so I am going to be having to take iron supplements. So when I got my iron tested, it was at about a 3 and it's supposed to be at 15. So it's definitely very, very low. So definitely am starting the iron supplements today. So hopefully that gets a lot better and I'll update on how that goes later on. She also wants me to get the, I think it's called the whooping cough vaccination. I guess this is, I didn't get this when I was pregnant the first time, so I don't know, but I guess it's a new suggestion that you get that vaccine around the 30 to 32 week mark. So I'm going to be booking that today and hopefully have it within the next two weeks, I'll have that vaccination. Also, I'm on my two week appointment schedule now. So before I was seeing my doctor or OB once a month and now I'll be seeing my OB once every two weeks. So that means it's getting close to due date. I have only 10 weeks left until I'm 40 weeks on. Oh, it went by so, so fast and I almost don't want it to be over so soon, but at the same time, I cannot wait to meet my little baby. So I'm really excited. Although this pregnancy has been amazing, <laughs> I don't really have too many complaints about this pregnancy, but I'm, so I'm enjoying it and I'm definitely going to miss being pregnant this time around, but at the same time, I just want it to be over so I can hold my baby. I'm excited. Oh, and also I had my glucose test, I think it was through two or three weeks ago, and I did pass, which is good because I definitely didn't want to sit through the, I think it's like two or three hour test that they do next, so I don't have to do that. I've never really had issues 
with that during pregnancy so I didn't think I really would this time around. Honestly, I didn't even react at all to the drink that they give you. Usually you get like shaky and maybe nauseous, but I didn't react at all. I didn't feel any different. So I guess I'm pretty good. <laughs> I guess that's a good thing. So that went good, which is exciting. I don't have to worry about that anymore. And I believe my next appointment is when I will be either my next appointment or the appointment after that, I'll be getting my um, strep B swab, I believe. Yeah, strep B swab, which I'm not looking forward to because that's uncomfortable. If you know what it is, if you don't look it up, it's quite uncomfortable. And then also at this appointment that I just had, they gave me my package for my birth plan which is so exciting. So the next few days I will be filling out my birth plan and I'll definitely be sharing my birth plan in another video. So make sure you subscribe and wait for that video to come out. I'm sure I will do it probably within the next couple of weeks, probably before I hand it into my obstetrician so that I can look at it as I'm telling you guys about it and kind of go through it with you guys. So that's exciting. Oh, I'm just so excited. Yeah, <sighs> this pregnancy went by so fast. Ooh. But yeah, I think that's basically it that I can update you guys on right now that I can think of. But if you have any questions at all about this pregnancy or my previous pregnancy or anything pregnancy related, make sure you comment down below and I will most definitely answer any questions you have. So the last thing I will do is show you guys my belly and how big it has gotten. He's getting a little round. <laughs> but anyway, thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and make sure you comment any questions down below and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.